Welcome everybody to Just Pew It. My name is Andrew and today we are going to be zeroing in the Mossberg Patriot 7mm rim mag with the regular chassis and we actually got the Oryx chassis. We're going to be trying that out to see how much of a difference it actually makes on whether it's stock or with an actual chassis. See what happens. First, we're going to be using some of this PPU uh, rifle line, the uh, 174 grain uh, coming out of this Mossberg Patriot 7mm rim mag. And currently, I have the Athlon 8 to 34 by 56. Let's see how she runs. over our uh, all right so we actually knocked over our uh, target okay so if we're shooting that high Looks like it's pretty much right on target. Uh, so let's uh, move it out to 100 yards and see what we got. All right, so up first, we're gonna shoot some of the Hornady Precision. This is the 162 grain ELDX. Let's see how well we can get a grouping with this. We will be going for the top right. You should see this on your screen. Dang around to load up in there. All right. So, top right. the first group and that was with the Hornady Precision now let's do the Remington Corlock this is let's see 150 grain soft point let's see how good this does for the top left. Custom light 139 grain SST rounds. And by the way, 
way, these little box mags aren't really that bad for what they are. I mean, they're cheap little plastic ones, but I have not had a malfunction on it yet. Okay. We will be going for the center. swap this chassis out real quick and uh, put the oryx on there see how well that works and we'll shoot the other target go from there see what happens all right so this is what it should come out looking like um, you do need to put the uh, bolts in first and then you'll have to put in the mag release yourself and you need to do everything to uh, 60 inch pounds just to clarify all that but we will do this in the exact same order. Do the party precision hunter first. And those are, I believe, 162 grain ELDX. And I am using the Magpul. I would have bought the uh, actual MDT uh, magazines, but they were completely sold out due to the fact that it's so close to Christmas. So, was not able to get that, but it works just fine, it seems like. It doesn't come out, and it seems like it's sitting in there pretty well. We go for the top right. for the top left and those are again 150 grain soft points sorry about the wind it got crazy windy here the party custom light these are the 139 grain SST rounds
All right, we are safe. Let's see what we did. All right. So without the chassis for the uh, Hornady Hunter, that was the group that we got there. Over here was the Remington. And right here was the uh, custom light for the Hornady. And then over here, it definitely did not like the uh, Hornady Precision Hunter whenever I put that chassis on there. Um, over here was the uh, Remington. And right here, it looks like we had a nice little group in there. Um, I'll definitely have to go back and check the footage just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that was the group. Um, yeah, I would definitely say it definitely likes the uh, the Remington and the uh, the Custom a lot better than that uh, Hunter. But again, I did fire off a lot of rounds through there and it was a very hot barrel. So I'll definitely give it another shot and check it out but I would definitely say the groupings with the chassis were a lot better than without. All right, guys. So all in all, the Oryx chassis, super, super sweet setup. Um, the Athlon uh, scope, first focal plane, again, 300 bucks for that. The whole entire setup, under a thousand bucks. If you like the video, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Remember, just be it. Thanks, guys.